Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar, and in the next few videos we're going to discuss game theory in the TV series Breaking Bad. We'll get started by discussing what exactly game theory is. Specifically, we're going to compare decision theory, which is static, to game theory, which is dynamic. The general idea in decision theory is that given a list of data or given a set of circumstances, you want to make the best possible decision. Game theory is much like that, but it's dynamic. You can't just say the data is given. What you do will affect how others will react. So you need to think strategically and anticipate how others will react to make the best decision. A very simple example of this is in decision theory, you know, you might look at the weather forecast and say, well, the weather looks nice, so I, you know, the best decision is to go to the beach. But in game theory, you're going to think that, well, if the weather is nice, Others are also going to think the weather is nice. They're also going to go to the beach. So you have to think strategically that you'll go to the beach earlier in the day when other people aren't there. And now we'll get to how this relates to Breaking Bad, is that the decision theory way of going about it is that Walt would just say, I need to make money, so I'm going to sell drugs. Walt quickly learns that he needs to use game theory that he realizes he's going to make enemies while selling drugs and he's going to have to think strategically to stay ahead of them. One of the first scenes which sets this up is in episode 3. Walt has, there's, Crazy 8 has tried to kill Walt and Jesse and so Walt has taken him hostage. He's now back at home and he's deciding what to do. This scene shows Walt's thought process. So let's analyze the scene. One very important thing is that Walt makes a list which has a left side, which is all decision theory, and a right side, which is all game theory. The left side was all about morality, guilt, principles, taking data, trying to make the best possible decision. The right side of the list, which only had one item, which was the repercussions if he lets Crazy 8 live. Walt realizes that if he lets Crazy 8 live, then Crazy 8's probably going to kill him and all his family. The only way to go about this is that Walt knows what he has to do. I hope you liked this first video. Please keep watching the rest of the series and please subscribe to my channel. You can also catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, or on Twitter at Presh Talwalker.